Okay. This is, uh, according to the, the documentation, is the initial D stage for Suchisaka Extended, um, and uh, whatever that means. Looks like it's a little bit longer than the Suchisaka that we just uh, drove in the last video, um, so should be fun. Um, not raining right now at the moment, so uh, let's go on ahead and uh, give this a little bit of a go, eh? Oof, the mouse cursor off. This is, I think, by a different author. Still looks nice, though. Checkpoint. Okay. I haven't been drinking, so I think I'm fine. Probably not that kind of checkpoint. I really, really love these uh, Japanese tracks. Big fan of Japanese car culture. Um, it has been around for a very long time um, and uh, is probably underappreciated historically. But they've been in racing for a very long time. Not sure what that was. Another checkpoint. Still haven't been drinking. friend JJ had a uh, bright orange colored Corolla that he drove in high school. And it had like moon caps on it and stuff. And it wasn't tuned or anything. It was just, you know, just a car. But, uh, Definitely uh, developed a fondness for the uh, Japanese style uh, with that car. And then of course, you know, there are countless gorgeous Japanese cars, uh, Skylines and uh, GTRs that are freaking phenomenal from like the 70s and even 80s. Pretty cool cars. But as much as I appreciate them as the art that they are, I still am a Porsche guy. For better or worse. I 
I love I love cars of all types, even like uh, American muscle cars. Uh, you know, I, I told the story in a video a while back about uh, the car that I grew up with or the cars that I grew up with, a 55 Chevy Bel Air and a 68 Chevelle. And uh, my, my own car, when uh, I got my first car, was a, or first car of my own that I paid for with my own money, was a 1965 Chevy Impala two-door. That car, uh, I drove that through high school and, uh, and college. Loved that car. And uh, with that car, I found my technical limitations. I, uh, I was a really good engine guy, it turned out, but uh, at the end of the day, wasn't very good with transmissions. Couldn't afford to have somebody else work on it at the time, and I uh, wound up having to sell it to get it off of uh, my mom's property. Well, the parking lot where, where she lived. It was just sitting there, and people were starting to complain about it. tunnels. So this looks like part of that other track that we drove. Well, the same track, but a different, a different version of it. The tunnel looks familiar. But this is a definitely a different map. Despite looking quite similar. are pretty huge. 
Feel those in the wheel pretty heavy. That was an awesome drive. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, that was uh, that was definitely extended, an extended version of the the map that I drove in the uh, the last video. So let me know what you think. Was that cool? Um, like, subscribe, do all that cool jazz, and uh, provide some comments. Let me know what your time is. And uh, getting closer, closer to uh, putting up a private server. Um, with some of my favorite drives and uh, we'll probably have to break down and do a discord server um, at the same time and once I get all that set up and uh, operating um, we'll start talking about how you can get access and start driving with me that could be fun anyway thank you for joining have a good one Sport.